All right, guys, welcome to the restorative shoulder training program here. Uh, if you all made it through the ebook, I, I do want to take a second to thank you for that. Uh, hopefully, you were able to take something away from it. Uh, the program here is going to be a six week, three day a week program. And with this overview, basically, what I want to do is just kind of walk you through it as if we were talking in person, point out a couple of things that people sometimes miss, and make sure that we set you up as best we can to help you navigate through this. So, with that, on the cover page here, the first thing to take note of is the icon is a clickable link that takes you directly to our YouTube channel. Um, so let me jump across my screen here, and that will bring you to our home page for our YouTube channel that you can just kind of uh, poke around on. There's over a thousand exercises on there, some other stuff, but um, just so that you have access to that. Uh, in case you need to find anything for an alternative or to sub something out in here. So that's available to you. Um, next, coming down, we have um, uh, just some general uh, overviews and uh, some legal statements here. So this is just a little bit of an overview of, of how you can implement this, whether you're somebody coming off of injury, somebody who's healthy, um, you know, how to navigate it in, or how to split it into your current training regimen. And then here, uh, you know, again, just covering my bases, making sure that, uh, you know, I'm clear on all this stuff. But just know that you uh, are assuming risk by downloading and utilizing this program. So um, no need to try to assume that you won't get much, I promise. Um, this video link is actually going to be put right in here. So you can always refer back to this if need be. <clears throat> couple of technical issues we've had in the past, uh, something to just be aware of. We've gotten pretty good with cleaning these up, but in the event you do come across anything, please feel free to just shoot it our way or send a screenshot of something that's incorrect, and we'll do our best to uh, address that as quickly as we can. Here's a list of the general required equipment. Please know that uh, you know some of this stuff isn't uh, necessarily a must-have in order to complete this program, um, but you know this is this is everything that is sampled in here. So. If you do need to sub something out or don't have access to something, I always just suggest to apply logic first, see if you can problem solve on your own. And if you're, you're really stumped, always feel free to hit us up. General program overview here. This doesn't really mean much to you all, um, I guess, unless you're a coach. But uh, given the nature of this program, uh, the, the macro cycle, meso cycle breakdown doesn't really mean too much for us, but laid out here for you anyhow. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, my style of excuse me, of programming, um, everything that we do is going to be time-based operative. So instead of prescribing a specific number of sets, I always just prescribe a time boundary for you to work from. So the way that it'll work in here is our movement prep will be performed as scripted. So it'll be two by five, two by 10, whatever it may be. For the circuit, this is where the time block is going to be applied. Um, and you are going to basically hit the clock. Uh, once everything is all set up, you'll run through this circuit for the time that's listed. And then once that circuit is done, then you'll come down to the finisher, which again will be performed as scripted. So movement prep, finisher, it'll tell you exactly what to be doing there. For the circuit, the reps will be provided here. The number of sets or rotations that you get through that circuit will be governed by this time block. basically just putting into text everything that I'm verbalizing here just so you have it for access, but also know that these are hyperlinks as well. Um, so you will have access to those, which will just link you to a full article giving you a little more detail on why we're using time blocks or why we're using applied tempos. The days themselves will be broken up like this. So this will be day one, week one and two, day one, week three and four, day one, week five and six, and then it'll go to day two. You'll notice up in the corner here, day one is going to be an anterior focus, day two will be a posterior focus, and then day three will be a combined focus. Um, nevertheless, the week one and week two uh, exercises are going to be the same across the days. However, the rep scheme and the tempos that are applied will vary. So um, gives you enough time to create a little bit of an adaptation here by doing the same workout for two weeks, um, but doing it with a little bit of a different parameter. So. Please know that each of the exercises is hyperlinked. So you click here, and again, let me drag across my screen. It will take you directly to 
the videos of the exercises themselves. So each one of these is hyperlinked. If Again, if there's any kind of trouble or if you notice that something clearly isn't the right link, um, please let us know that. Um, so here, over here is our time block. And again, we're gonna apply it for these four here. You'll run through the reps. Um, you know, another thing to consider here with this is that it's not, this is not an AMRAP style of program. Uh, this is not a CrossFit program or anything like that. Uh, the reason for utilizing time blocks is it allows you to develop some autonomy and, and auto-regulate your training based on how you're feeling. So a good rule of thumb is we should probably be getting somewhere between four to six, you know, maybe seven or eight on some of these uh, rounds, that is. But, um, you know, you shouldn't feel necessarily inclined to try to do as many rounds as you can, more so focusing on position, posture, technique, um, making sure that we're applying the, the appropriate tempo scheme. Um, you know, so we should generally be somewhere between four to six on, on most of these. Um, but if we notice that, um, you know, the, that you're getting, you know, eight or 10 sets and things, make sure that you're taking some appropriate rest time, make sure that you are pacing yourself accordingly and we're using appropriate weights. The biggest application with this program is going to be all of the stuff found over here. It's all of the isometric tempos, it's all of the schemes, it's all of the positions that are applied. So the load that is applied for these, even on something like a half kneeling press, bottom up press, or a landmine press, you know, the weight is, is really kind of the secondary or even tertiary goal with this. Given that this is a restorative based program, we're trying to seek optimal function, posture, position, you know, getting out of pain. Those are really our primary goals here. So the load that you use on these exercises is, is really, you know, at your own discretion. There's, there's not too much focus on that for this. <clears throat> if you come across something where you don't have access to it, so we'll say uh, like a heavy band inverted row is a good one. <clears throat> if this wants to load. So we'll see, you know, if you don't have, you know, access to a, a heavy band or if maybe if you don't have access to J-hooks even, um, just use your own intuition to try to navigate through that. You know, something like that can easily be supplemented for a TRX inverted row or even just using a barbell. Um, you want to just try to be as close to what we have prescribed down here as you, as you can, um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be exact. Another one here is like the inertia bands. Um, this is a somewhat of a specialty uh, piece of equipment. So I know that this isn't something that's, uh, you know, in everybody's facility. But for this, you can simply use battle ropes. You can also tie bands off to, to the rack. And I, I like to usually double them up and kind of get the same effect. So, you know, again, I try to do my best to only including uh, equipment that's, you know, more so on the common side. But uh, everything can't be foolproof. So Similarly, with like a cable, you can sub that out for a band. Um, but if you really do have uh, anything that's uh, that stumps, you always feel free to reach out and we can try to work through it. Um, coming down to the end here on the day three, this is a combo focus. And you'll notice these are written out a little bit differently. These are a little bit longer circuits. I did not include movement prep or really a clear cut finisher on day three. The reason for that is, is I'm trying to encourage you to take it upon yourself to put your own movement prep together, kind of guide yourself through the finisher. Again, my goal with programming is always to try to educate or teach you how to be able to do it for yourself rather than relying on external sources. But with that, I tried to write the day three workouts to be able to be done from home. So you'll see just dumbbell, kettlebell, and a band, and I guess a TRX here for this one, um, but minimalist equipment and trying to make these as conducive as possible to be able to be done from remote access. So hopefully I hit the mark on that, but uh, you know, you're obviously able to do these in the gym as well and, and no differently than day one or two. The last page here, this is something new that we're trying out for this one. Um, I'd, I'd like to try to get a little bit more feedback or input from you all. So. Uh, if, you if you have the time and if you make it through this and you found this program to be valuable or hell, if you didn't, um, you know, let us know. So we, we would love to hear from you. Please feel free to, to be honest and, and direct with us on this. You're not going to hurt any feelings. Um, the better that we can respond to your input and feedback, the better we can do down the road. So 
All we ask is you just uh, fill in here on the questions, any additional comments you might have, <clears throat> and then just take a screenshot of this and, and send us the screenshot. And I'm going to try to figure out a way that we can, you know, maybe set up something to, uh, you know, send back to you all who, who decide to give us some input. So we would really appreciate that if you had the time and you were able to do so. But that, that basically gives you the rundown here. Um, you know, again, just, just know that this will be embedded right here. So if you ever need to come back to anything, you can always click on that. Um, and if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us or hit us up.